All right, Tim Stanley doing another segment of RVing with Tim. I'm here in Florida City, uh, Florida, right outside the Keys, gateway to the Keys. Now, I'm at a hotel because I went to the RV park and uh, on, my, on, on uh, Saturday and it just wasn't suitable. So um, the next uh, RV spot that had a place open was like 20 miles from the hotel where my kid's at. So I just booked the nights at the hotel, just left it out here. But anyway, so I'm doing a pre-trip on the way home back to the Carolinas and uh, the tire pressure was low right here and I have a, a by air uh, air compressor for RV so I pumped it up and it's still when I was pumping it up I hear air coming out so what's happening is I have a bad valve stem so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off myself and I think it'd be easier to find someone who can um, just go ahead and while it's off the trailer, go ahead and, and fix that valve stem rather than them jacking it up and all that. And the thing about drag, jacking the trailer, you do not want to put the jack on the axle. And that's why I'm doing it myself. You always want to put it somewhere on the frame or somewhere at the trailer spot they, all, they had put it on the bridge. But you do not want to jack it up on the axle because you can bend it. I was told that. So, you know, I'm an engineer by trade. And what we do is something called a FEMA, failure modes and effects analysis. And I know I'm going a little deeper than you want to go, but I always thought when I looked at bought my trailer, I looked at what could go wrong and I made sure I had an air compressor. Um, I made sure I had uh, this trailer aid. I looked it up and I bought it and I actually tested this thing out on the road one time with me and my wife, Jackie. I tested it just so when I get in this position, I know what to do. So. Um, so I have everything I need uh, to go ahead and change the tire, fix it. So I'm gonna take it off myself and I'm gonna take it to a shop and have them fix it and then I'm gonna put it back on. I'm doing it myself because I don't want them to jack it and properly mess up my bent my ankle, my, my axle I already paid. <laughs> like that's a brand new axle and brand new tires and all that. And I don't want it messed up. So I'm doing it myself. But anyway, it's pretty simple. You just kind of drive the, the good tire up and I pulled it forward. Now, if this tire was bad, you'll back it up on this side and lift that tire up. So I already got it, the nuts loosened up. So I'm gonna take that tire off and go have it fixed. But things gonna happen when you have an RV or a car or anything. And you just gotta be prepared. So I had everything. I had my my uh, my, my air compressor. I had my, my trailer aid. And like I said, I researched that. I bought that a long time ago. And I keep it in my storage bin. I have everything I need. I actually also have a fix a flat because um but that's a valve stem so the fix a flat is not going to work good with that so i am uh i am going to get it done and i'll let you know how i go thank you all right so i'm just put my uh spare on here my i got a full size spare it's kind of old to beat up but i'm gonna put it on here and then i'm gonna just uh take that tire and go have it fixed at the hotels check out time so i'm just go ahead and do that so i can get rolling out of here i got a reservation in uh at another trailer park on the beach so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so i can get there and then i'll just take care of the tire at a later time um all right